The school is really special because we are a STEM academy and now we'll be on taking the arts and becoming a STEAM academy, which is really exciting. Um, we specialize in science, technology, engineering, arts and math. And so when you come to our school, uh, learning will look a little different. It'll be more hands-on. We do problem-based learning. Um, and we really try to attack interests that the students have, so student-centered learning. And so from the staff perspective, we have a partnership with Northern Illinois University, their STEAM programming. And so we've already started this summer uh, preparing from the staff aspect of our reprogramming as a STEAM school. And that's been awesome. Um, they come every other month um, and they'll work with us as we transition into the new building as well. Yes, we're getting a beautiful brand new campus. Um, I am excited because I was on that team to help develop the new school. Um, so yes, we're going to have more than enough classrooms, we're going to have flexible learning spaces, we're going to have uh, music rooms for band, orchestra, two art rooms, maker spaces for the students to actually um, you know, do some science experiments, maybe even engineering where they're going to be building and soldering and um, construction and things like that that have interest to maybe some future careers in the science field. Um, the hope is that the building will be ready in January of 2025. So the way we even instruct will be a little different. Um, and I think if you are looking to join our school, it'd be a great idea to get onto the school website, take a look at what the new school looks like and what we're going to be able to offer. We are in year two of our house system, and our house system has four houses, but we're one school family. When you become a student at American Dreamer, you spin the wheel, so your house that you are put in is by luck of the draw. You don't get to choose. And then we have four houses. Um, some of our little ones may know them by color, so red, blue, green, and black, but their formal names are Altarismo, Amistad, um, Isabendi, and Robert. And they all have connections and meaning to, to history. And what we do is we have competitions. We, the students compete for positive rewards and points. Um, we have monthly little um, games we play, but we also do some positive things for community. Like right now, we have students over here who are loading up boxes. We are working on giving back to our community because that's the Black House's mo motto, giving back, giving. And so we're doing a food drive where the four houses are competing against each other. The house who brings in the most food obviously will win points. At the end of the year, we have a big end of the year tournament to see which house earns the house championship title. For us, we wear uniforms, so above all things, I'm sure kids like to be out of their uniforms on Friday. So they come in and they get a free house shirt um, initially. Um, and so on a Friday, if you come through, you'll see all the kids repping their house and their house shirts, and you see the building of community across a little one in kindergarten, having on their red shirt and one in fourth grade, having on a red shirt, you're in my house and hugs are shared. And also just full circle, um, you're in my house. And if you're gonna represent our house, you gotta make sure you're making good choices. I can see a little one who's got a blue house shirt on, throw my symbol up to her, we're connected, but also we're working together as a school for like one giant goal. Um, we work very hard to make sure that our students that are new here transition well. So you can also expect that they will probably be bombarded by adults those first couple of weeks of school, of school as they transition. Because when you're new, you have to think that everybody else could potentially have been here K to eight. So we're very family knit, generational school, family member after family member. So we wanna make sure that our new kids transition so one thing that we're really working on as we prepare for this new building is critical thinking, perseverance, and um, trial and error. That's STEAM in a nutshell. We want to provide them with an education that they can go on and continue to grow and be successful in life and have a profession um, where they can make an impact on the world.